In this video, we're going to cover adding concentrates into our product catalog. Now, let's add a concentrate to our product catalog. Let's select the addition symbol at the top right of the page to bring up our Add New Product window. This window will automatically default to our accessories. Let's select the accessories and click on concentrates from the dropdown. The more robust we build this window out, the more your customer will see if utilizing a third-party live menu integrator like iHeartJane, Dutchie, and Leafly. Now some of these integrators differ with what information will be presented on your live menus. If you plan to integrate with one of these, please reach out to your third-party online menu rep to make sure you're adding the necessary data. Also, these details will be available for your butt tenders to view while in the cashier tab. Now as you can see, our first field is going to be where we enter our brand. Next we have our product name. The best practice is to include the brand first in the product name followed by the specific strain or species, the type, and total gram or milligram count of this item. In this case, I'm going to have my brand as Flowhub. Now my product name will be Flowhub, Bubba Kush, Shatter, and because this is a one gram item, I'm going to end with one G. Now that we have our product name in the system, let's enter our type field. The type field will act as a subcategory within the concentrates category. Flowhub gives you the ability to get creative with your subcategories. A couple of examples would be shatter, wax, live resin, cartridge, etc. We can utilize this field for filtering reports by type and even for creating specials based on type. I'm going to put shatter in as my product type. The next field is going to be the par level. The par level feature within the platform is a valuable tool used for inventory management. The number we enter here is going to be the minimum amount of this item we want to have in stock before we need to order more. Within the report's new section of the platform, we can build and schedule the par levels report to give us accurate up-to-date inventory levels. We'll be going over this in phase three. Next, we have the option of adding an image along with a description and strain name in the THC slash CBD percentages. All of these fields are optional. For the cannabinoid percentages, if we were to add these in the product, they will auto-populate when associating this product name with our inventory. Now, let's add our weight and our unit of measure. Depending on your state regulations, the weight of the concentrate will contribute to your cannabis counter. Next, we will want to select whether this package is childproof or not. Lastly, we want to add our pre-tax price and our cost for the product. Let's save this window and we'll see our first concentrate product populate in our catalog. In summary, we selected the plus at the top right of the page, filled out the window, saved and added a concentrate to our product catalog. Once you've completed this step, update this task status to done. If you need help, click the stuck button in your email or at mention us in the notes of this task.